Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the second of this morning's session's talks is from Fabio Asselini from Kaspersky Lab, who's going to talk to us about the abuse of proxy configuration files in banking malware. So over to you, Fabio. Thank you very much. Good morning, guys. Um, thank you for this opportunity to show you what's going on in the sunny and beautiful Brazil. Uh, it's a pleasure to stay here again to show you uh, some things that happens on that beautiful country. And I hope you, you enjoy my research with my colleague Andre Magnutin. Uh, due to some um, passport issues, he wasn't able to stay here to present with me, but he helped me a lot to produce this research and to show you. Uh, the name of my presentation is the PAC, the Problem Auto Config. And uh, uh, of course, this is, the, this is not the name of the, the feature. The, the real name of the feature is Proxy Auto Config. But this is a, a huge problem in Brazil right now, these days. So we changed the name. We changed the name to Problem Auto Config. Exactly because it's a huge, huge problem in Brazil. A lot of users uh, facing this problem and facing infection using this specific, um, specific technique of attack. So I want to share with you what's going on and what the reactions of the bad guys in Brazil regarding uh, this subject. Okay. Uh, well, what is a PAC, a proxy auto config? It's a file or uh, URL that defines how the browsers uh, can uh, choose a proxy server. Basically, it's it. It's a feature that exists in all modern browsers since Netscape 2.0, uh, 96, it's so old, and exists in all modern browsers. Uh, Google Chrome actually are, uh, uses the same configurations uh, from Internet Explorer. So um, the bad guys don't need to, to target Google Chrome. It, it's all about Internet Explorer. And if the user are, uh, are, ha have uh, Google Chrome installed, it's not a problem. Uh, it's not a problem uh, because Google Chrome are using the same configuration of Internet Explorer. and. Uh, it's uh, basically configured in the browser settings. Uh, you can put a, a simple URL uh, pointing to a, a PAC file, or you can um, put the path to a file hosted locally. That's all. The, it, the file is a, a really simple script made in JavaScript, r really simple. And this is the, the basic structure uh, of, the, of the file. It have a function called uh, find proxy for URL, and the return will be the proxy server. Uh, if not, if not, uh, there is a function called direct that will direct the, the access uh, without without use the proxy server. That's it. That's simple. That's simple, but it's effective to use an attack in in, in attack. That's uh, what they are doing in Brazil. How? Well, basically, drive-by download attacks uh, using black hole or using uh, Java applets, or even uh, using small Trojan files. And all the file need to do, all the Trojan need to do, is to do a small change in the affected system. Change the auto config URL key on Windows registry for Internet Explorer and for Chrome, for consequence. And, or do a small change in the prefs.js file that, that's used by Firefox, inserting a path to the, the PAC file, uh, or insert the URL uh, pointing to the PAC file. That's it. Uh, these are the three uh, Windows registry keys used uh, that the Trojan need to do. Uh, the first one pointing to a PAC file in a website. The second one pointing to a file hosted locally on user's machine. And the third one, this is, the third one is really interesting because it's a variation. Not all Trojan bankers are using it. Uh, it changed the proxy of your internet connection. It uh, tried to, to guess the name of your internet connection and uh, change the proxy of the name of this internet connection. 
it, it's a variation. Not all, all charging markers are, are changing it, but it, it exists. It, it, it's a fact that happens. Great. As a result, when the affected user tries to access a banking page, for example, it will be redirected to a phishing page, uh, like this one. Uh, you can see in the, in the settings uh, box of Firefox, the, uh, the proxy, uh, the malicious pack file configure. In, in this case, it's a, a .js file. That's simple. That's it. Uh, this is a legitimate feature, but with a big malicious potential, really big. And it's simple, silent, and very effective to, uh, to inf infect compu users' computers and redirect to phishing pages. That's it. Uh, it happens in Brazil since 2008, 2009, and it's still very used until today, until today. And it's not only in Brazil. In 2012, we found a Russian Trojan banker called Kapper that it's, uh, it's using this feature as well. And uh, it's a, a bit different from the Brazilian version because it used uh, auto sign and digital cert certifications uh, to redirect the user to uh, SSL phishing page. But uh, th that's it. It's simple, but it's really, really effective. And 60% of Brazilian Trojan bankers are using this technique nowadays. It shows how it is effective. And as we know, uh, PACs and WPADs, this is uh, some feature used by some malware. For example, Flame, the Flame malware, used uh, WPAG and PAC files to, um, to distribute the infection among a net, inside a network. Uh, as we know, the WPAG um, uh, feature are using the, uh, the NetViews uh, service. And this service is vulnerable to spoofing. Basically, it's it. And um, the flame malware uses this technique of a WPAG and a PAC file uh, to do a man in the middle attack in, inside a network, uh, as we know, to affect the Windows Update service. So it's effective. It's a simple features that exist on, on, on Windows today, but it's uh, simple, effective, and these features uh, are now used by Trojan bankers. OK, so uh, what, uh, what was our, our first, first approach to solve this problem? Well, uh, let's block the URL. This, this was our first reaction to try to solve the problem. But um, this wasn't a very good approach. Because as a response, we started to, uh, to saw some, some Trojans using random URLs. In each reboot, the Trojan changed the URL inside the, the, the proxy configuration in the browser. Uh, this was the, their answer, the answer of the bad guys. And uh, some Trojans also started to use shortening URL service, such as the bit.li. And it, of course, using this uh, shorting, uh, shorting URL service, the bad guy could control and could collect statistics, such this one. This is a, a short, short uh, short URL controlled by the bad guys. In, in 10 days, it was uh, accessed more than 1 million times in 10 days. Could you imagine how many machines was infected using um, the, the shortened URL? Uh, so we, we realized that uh, this wasn't a very good uh, solution to the problem, blocking URLs. Um, so we decided, OK, let's, uh, let's add uh, signature detection to these small files, because the file is really small. Sometimes it's less than one kilobyte, really, really small. And it, that's exactly uh, the final result. The user 
can uh, have his bank account stolen uh, using a really small file, a one kilobyte file hosted locally but configured as a proxy script in the browser, and the user will, be, will have his bank account stolen. So we decided to, okay, let's, uh, let's detect all these small files uh, using this verdict, trojanbanker.js.banker. And in some days, we detected a lot of files, very, uh, 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 very many files. Um, this was the exact point when our cat and mouse game with Brazilian bad guys started. Because uh, they realized it, we started to detect these files. And the answer of the bad guys, as always, when they want to uh, bypass signature detection, what's their reaction? Obfuscation. They use obfuscation to bypass signatures. Of course, and it was exactly their reaction. They created uh, some tools, and this was the, the, uh, the malicious pack files in the beginning, in the very beginning, uh, plain text. You can see the name of the banks, the proxy server, and that's it. Uh, in the very beginning, the file was in plain text. But when AV companies decided to, uh, to and signature detections, uh, the bad guys started to create uh, tools like this one. And this tool uh, was created by Brazilian bad guys with only one purpose, to uh, obfuscate the JavaScript code. Uh, in the beginning, the tool was uh, sold among bad guys, costing uh, $2,000, uh, very, very expensive. Promising that your malicious pack file will be fully undetectable by all antivirus. And in fact, uh, it, it was the reality. Nobody detected the, the obfuscated scripts. Nobody. So uh, we started to, um, to see some uh, really ugly scripts uh, obfuscated, such this one really bad and really ugly scripts uh, obfuscated like this one, very ugly. Uh, you have some minutes to deobfuscate the script to, to realize what's going on, uh, what's the URL uh, targeted by the script. Or this one using shore. And here was easy to find the shore key uh, equals five. Uh, oh, of course, this is the same approach from the, the guys, uh, or the bad guys working with uh, exploit kits. It's the same. But they started to do it with the malicious pack scripts. Um, so uh, we uh, do our, our, our job to detect this kind of files. The bad guys started to send some messages to us directly. Uh, to us, or in some cases, they started to use uh, some social engineering to trick the user, uh, especially the user that have the small file uh, in his machine. They started to put some message like this one that shows uh, that that says, "Don't modify this file. Copyright Google." Of course, it's it's fake, totally fake, uh, but it's a social engineering trick to uh, to trick the user, of course. And some bad guys, they started to send direct messages to us, like this one. I'm sorry, uh, it, it has some uh, bad words, but I'll, I'll read it, because it's in Portuguese, in the head of the file, that says, uh, why are these mother f sneaking my, sniffing my pack files? Come on, let me work freely. I need to feed my family, bunch of mother f Go easy on me. That was the message of the bad guy. Because we started to detect these scripts, and he was so upset. He was so angry, because we started to detect these files. And uh, another one with message that says, don't try to erase or modify this file. Don't try to sniff, report, take down, or publish on Twitter. The denizens of the hell will redirect everything again, and everybody will be happy in the end. 
and he sent some greetings to some bad guys putting their names, uh, like Japanese Raul, uh, Nathan Canaranas, and a lot of bad guys. They started to send messages because uh, they know this is a very effective way to uh, infect the users, to steal their money. And so they started to send these messages. Uh, and it was very interesting because a, a bad guy approached me on Twitter and sent me this message that says, Sup, bastard, look me here. Go easy on me. Stop taking down my farming. Let it be. The name of the user, Internet Banker. This was a direct message to me, uh, asking friendly, hey, come on, let me work. Let me do my job. Let me steal bank accounts. Let me infect users. Uh, in fact, this was the, the friendly request because uh, sometimes they don't ask friendly. And if they don't ask friendly, they send you death threats. And that was exactly what they did with a friend of mine. They sent this death threat to a friend of mine. Uh, it's a message full of bad words. I will not translate it. Uh, but basic, basically, the message says in Portuguese, uh, asking the guy to stop reporting uh, the pack files and the phishing domains related. If not, they will kill him. And the bad, the worst here is that mess the message fo are following uh, his personal data, his address, the name of his wife, uh, the number of his telephone. This is a friend of mine, a very active uh, phishing reporter. And he was so scared. Could you imagine receive a death threat, uh, do your job fighting cybercrime? That's possible, and it happens in Brazil. Uh, this friend of mine, he's OK. Uh, today he's OK, but he's still afraid, and he's reporting less. Uh, he reported a lot of uh, phishing domains and, and pack, malicious pack files. Uh, he deobfuscated the code and started to report to Fish Tank, uh, Netcraft, and other uh, phishing domain, um, phishing blocking services. And he's still scared. And this is what happens in Brazil. If bad guys are, uh, if they ask you friendly, if you do not cooperate, uh, they can uh, send you this kind of message. Unfortunately, uh, maybe it's a, a it's a sign of we are doing the correct thing. Okay, uh, well, for Brazilian bad guys, the pack files is the new host because uh, they can do a lot of things with these small scripts. They can do a lot of changes with a multi multi-purpose uh, ends. For example. If you took uh, this script and they'll be fuscate, you can realize what the bad guys uh, are planning. Well, uh, they are targeting Brazilian banks. Uh, this is their, their main purpose, to redirect the user to phishing pages of more than 40 Brazilian banks. Not only banks, but page of credit card systems. Um, they are also asking for credentials from webmail service such as Outlook, uh, Hotmail, Google, uh, Gmail. Payment websites such as uh, PayPal and PagSeguro, that is very popular in Brazil, much more than PayPal. Uh, they are, with these scripts, they are also redirecting the user that tried to access a popular web page in Brazil to landing pages full of advertisement. Of course, they are, they are looking for to generate traffic and gain some money. Uh, some scripts as well decided to, to uh, redirect the user to fake web, uh, fake web, uh, web pages of mtgox.com, that is the most known uh, Bitcoin market, used by uh, the guys that want to sell or to buy uh, Bitcoins. And they are also targeting uh, websites from the Brazilian government, especially that websites that request some login or have some uh, personal information of, of all the citizens. They, they started to, uh, to do it. 
And with these scripts, they are also uh, able to block the access to websites and the servers used by AV companies to distribute the updates. I will show you now. Uh, yeah, this is the script uh, used by the bad guys to redirect the infected user to phishing pages of banks and to block the web pages and the servers that distribute the updates uh, from the AV companies. You can see here uh, in the head of the, uh, the file uh, the name of the banks and in the middle the name of the AV companies. And the direct result in infected machine is this. If the user tries to access the web page, it's a fake message that says, service um, unavailable temporarily, try again later. Of, of course, it's fake. It was blocked, it was redirected by the malicious pack file. Um, this is a, a pack file uh, targeting a website from the Brazilian government. Of course, they want credentials and they do mass infections of a lot of users and maybe these, these, of, these of these machines uh, belongs to the government. So they want these credentials. Here, redirecting to the mtgox.com.br that in fact do not exist, but they redirect uh, to steal credentials. Um, and this, this one is so funny. Uh, for some websites, especially security community, that provides uh, free malware removal advice for users, final users. Uh, if the user tries to access some websites, VirusTotal, FishTank, uh, TreatExpert, and Linha Defensiva, it's a security community in Brazil, the user will see a fake BSOD, the fake uh, blue screen of that, in the browser. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that says a problem has been detected and liandefensiva.org has been shut down to prevent damage. Of course, this is totally fake. It's a trick to avoid the user to, access, uh, to not access the website asking for help or to access the, the, AV, uh, the website of the antivirus. Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, as I told in the beginning, uh, this, was a, this is still is a huge problem in Brazil. And unfortunately, a lot of security products are not, still today, are not detecting these scripts. And so was, uh, what, what were our final approach in Kaspersky? We decided to create a really good risk detection to all these scripts. And this risk detection, it's based on our JavaScript emulator. And this emulator, uh, it can emulate and call the function uh, find proxy for URL. And no matter what kind of obfuscation the, the, the file, the pack file are using, we are still able to detect with a really, really good risk detection. Uh, that's how we are detecting right now. And unfortunately, I saw a lot of security products and still not detecting. And I, I urge all the guys here to start detect these files. I know it, they are small. Uh, sometimes uh, some companies have fear to not produce uh, some false positives because we know there are some uh, legitimate pack files using inside universities or inside companies to control the traffic, to uh, redirect the traffic. It's a really useful tool for network administrators. Really useful. Uh, and some companies, uh, I talk, I talk with some guys, ah, we don't know, it can produce some uh, false positive, it's true, but with a really good risk detection, you can detect these files. And I urge you to do it, because it's a huge problem in Brazil. And of course, the, the, uh, the final way will, will be a phishing page. You can detect the phishing page, of course, but uh, the bad guy, Brazilian bad guys, they are working so hard to bypass detection and to steal money. And in fact, they steal a lot of money. In Brazil, there are more than 42 million users of internet banking. It's a lot of people. And um, uh, in 2012, the Brazilian Federation of Banks, they reported a huge loss, loss of money uh, due to these attacks of uh, Trajan bankers. 
So I use you guys to detect the scripts. If you need help or you need samples, please ping me. Uh, that's it. Uh, I, I'm publishing a full paper with a lot of uh, more details at securelist.com. Maybe it's already published right now. Uh, this is my colleague Andre. And I want to say thank you. And if you have questions, I believe we have time. Okay, so we have a question on the right hand side there in the middle. Please be kind, uh, talk slowly, because you know I'm not a, a very good English speaker. Thank you. That was a great presentation. Right here. Hey. Uh, I was not clear from your presentation on the vector of attack and update. A Trojan or a drive-by that would lead to the pack or proxy installation. Could you explain that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, in fact, uh, both. Uh, to change the, the, the proxy in the browser, uh, bad guys can do it with a small Trojan, really small, uh, 10 kilobyte, 12 kilobyte. Or in some, uh, some drive-by download attacks using black hole uh, or using a malicious Java applet. All the applet will do is to, uh, is to change the proxy in the browser, changing, this, uh, that, uh, changing that uh, Windows registry key. So it's really simple. The Trojan don't need it to, to stay active in the machine. All the Trojan need to do is to change this small uh, Windows registry, and that's it. Uh, the, the browser will be configured with the, the malicious, uh, malicious script, and the connections will start to be redirected. So they use both approach, small Trojan files and drive-by download attacks, drive-by download using black hole or uh, malicious Java applet. OK, we have another question at the front here. Thank you. Great presentation. Thank you. Something that probably is obvious, but uh, are there any uh, clean, obfuscated uh, autoconvict files? I've never seen any. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. I I'm publishing more details at Security List today. Uh, most infected countries in the world with this technique. First, Brazil, of course. Second, Russia. Why Russia? Because the bad guys behind the Trojan copper, they decided to use this technique as well. Uh, so maybe it's something that do not exist in your country. You are very lucky. <laughs> but maybe in the future, you will need to face this problem. Because uh, we know bad guys are sharing information. We know Brazilian bad guys are sharing information with Russian bad guys. Uh, they are buying a black hole from the Russian bad guys. And the Brazilian bad guys are selling this technique of the malicious pack to, to the Russians. So they are uh, sharing information. And maybe in the future, uh, you will see this technique ex exp explored or used in Trojan bankers in your country. If you guys need some samples to take a look, I have a lot of samples I can share with you. And you can take a look. We have a lot of uh, obfuscated samples and small uh, plain text samples because uh, all the bad guys here are obfuscating uh, the scripts to avoid detection. Okay, I think we have time for one more question. So I can see Nick's hand up there. Uh, thank you for a really good presentation, really interesting. Um, thank you. Uh, hopefully a very quick question. The Reconfiguration that points to where the bad pack file is can either be a local file or a URL, correct? Exactly. What approximately is the proportion? Like, are most of them using URLs, or is it 50-50, or? Uh, yeah. Most of the attacks they are using, they configure the URL, most of the attacks. Uh, uh, I'd say 30% of the attacks are using the small files uh, hosted in the hard drive, user's hard drive. Um, because if the file is detected or deleted, uh, the proxy will not work. So uh, sometimes uh, uh, the bad guys, they prefer to use the URL 
put the URL inside the configuration of the browser, and that's it. It's a small and silent change. The user will not be aware of it. Uh, the user will navigate uh, easily. There is no a clear sign out that the browser was changed. Uh, but when the user will access, for example, the web page of the bank, he will be redirected. Uh, so uh, uh, the bad guys are using, they prefer the URL in the browser instead of the file.